Hello, this is Holger Martin for EETScribe.com. Uh, I got a couple of interesting things in the mail today. One of them is uh, a product called Servo Blocks. Now, what I'm planning on doing with a couple servos is create a gyro stabilized two axis camera gimbal. And I think I have the electronics figured out, uh, but the thing that I was struggling a little bit with, I wasn't sure I could uh, pull off in a in a way that actually looked decent was the uh, physical uh, mounting of the servos and all the mechanical stuff associated with getting the uh, camera gimbal to actually move the way it needed to. And I found this product called uh, Servo Blocks and I ordered these from Servo City and I think they will really do the job. Uh, so I'm looking quite forward to uh, getting these two servo servos uh, mounted in the servo blocks and uh, playing with them to see what I can uh, come up with. So a servo block just comes in a little Ziploc package like this. And there aren't a lot of pieces to it. You have the screws to put everything together. You have a servo plate, which is what the servo uh, is mostly mounted to. Then you have hub plates, which are mounted to the servo plate. And then you have this thing, which is the probably the nicest part of it, which is a, um, uh, a ball bearing plate. So there's a nice little ball bearing in here. And then there's a shaft that connects directly to the servo uh, drive mechanism. And this is, I believe, called a servo spline shaft hub. And what's nice about this arrangement is if you actually have a load, a weight on this uh, on this uh, shaft, the ball bearing plate will actually, and the shaft will actually take up, take up the weight as opposed to the actual servo itself. So you're not actually loading the servo you know, with with the actual weight and applying tension to it. You're actually uh, just using the servo to drive the uh, the shaft. So that should give me a lot more. Uh, um, power when I'm actually trying to drive something that's actually got a weight to it. So what I actually did is I've got another one of these and I have another one of these uh, um, servos. So what I did is I just took this little thing off here and there's a screw you just don't take it off and it comes off like this and be careful when you take this off there's a little locking washer here uh, it promptly just popped off Fortunately, my cat was watching me, and he saw exactly where it went, and uh, let me know, let me know what happened to it. So, uh, I guess his appreciation of uh, small things that he usually likes to play with uh, came in handy in this case. So, uh, I did actually put one together already with a servo, and it ends up looking like this. So, uh, the shaft is actually connected to the servo here. The hub plate is here or the, and here, and then you also have the actual servo plate itself, which is here. Uh, the thing that's very nice is there are plenty of screw holes to connect things. So you can connect something to the servo here, you can mount the servo um, to whatever you want, either here or here, and that will make anything you do look really uh, clean and, uh, and slick. So anyway, uh, that's what it looks like. And what's interesting as well is you can actually connect multiple servo blocks together. So you can have one servo moving another servo block, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing for my two axis uh, gyro stabilized uh, camera gimbal. This is what two servo blocks uh, look like when they're connected to two servos. Uh, what's interesting about this is, or what I wanted to point out, was that you could actually uh, connect the two servo blocks together. So you can have the drive, this drive shaft here, which I will be, which I could say, for example, use as a, uh, a roll adjustment. Uh, would just be here, like this, and then if I wanted to do a damn cat, hey, stop playing with my stuff. Ugh. Excuse my cat. So as I was saying, uh, this would be my roll adjustment. 
and then this would be connected here and then I could use this as my pitch adjustment like so. So I'd have roll and pitch and I only need to do two axes because I'm doing a gyro stabilized two axis camera gimbal um, so that should work out fine. Now I haven't been able to connect these because I didn't think to get any extra screws but uh, once I do that I should be able to play with this a bit and I've also got some other stuff coming um, uh, similar to what's known as maker beams which I will be able to use to uh, create a framework to put the camera in and also a platform to hold all this stuff uh, uh, together. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing with this stuff. It should be really interesting.